Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team Budget Squad episode. Guys, today the position that we're going to be taking a look at is cornerback. One of the most important positions in Madden. Uh, I always say it every year, man. I think cornerback is one of those positions where you really should actually spend money and get the top of the line guys if you can afford them. But when you're first starting off or if you're somebody that, you know, is just getting back into Madden, if you left it for a little while and you don't have a lot of coins to spend... I do want to put together a list of guys that I think can actually help you out in certain situations. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to focus on a few different types of players. Uh, and we're going to start off today, guys, with actually man coverage cornerbacks. Now, this is kind of the traditional thing, right? The guys that just line up single coverage, man on man, and go up and play against the wide receivers. So on the left side of your screen, we actually have Tremaine Johnson. And Tremaine Johnson's going for about 25,000 coins right now. You can actually find him a little bit cheaper than that from time to time as well. Uh, and we're going to be comparing him to, on the right side of the screen, Antonio Cromartie. This is a signature card. Now, it is fair to say that the signature cards are more expensive because they're more rare. But also, people just tend to like Antonio Cromartie. And I'll be honest with you. I think that in this case, obviously, the overall is higher with Tremaine Johnson. I actually would rather have Tremaine Johnson than I would Antonio Cromartie. Just straight up, I really would. Uh, I think the attributes are very, very similar on these guys. Where Antonio Cromartie is a little bit better is he does have the higher awareness and he does have the higher jumping, but Tremaine Johnson's got him in pretty much everything else. They're the same height. They actually have the same man coverage and the same zone coverage. Uh, Tremaine Johnson had a 95 and an 88 for zone. Both those guys, same attributes. And uh, in everything else, Tremaine Johnson is better, and he's substantially better in some areas. Play recognition, he's nine or eight higher, excuse me. He's got a five higher for acceleration. He's better in press coverage, way better tackling, a way higher hit power as well. 31 higher in hit power, 16 higher in tackling. So he's definitely somebody that can break up passes a little bit better as well when they've got that tight coverage and the quarterback does squeeze it into the receiver and it does hit him in the hands that he can actually break it up from time to time. So this is definitely, in my opinion right now, this is probably one of the best budget cards in the game, period. And for a guy that's going for 25,000 coins, I mean, you could definitely afford him by just going through and doing a couple solo challenges, selling off some gold cards, things like that definitely think about getting this card it's an easter tremaine johnson 91 overall really really nice card and like i said guys my favorite current budget corner in the game at this moment so the next one that i want to talk about is another man coverage corner and on the left side of your screen we've got jimmy smith football outsiders this is from earlier in the season and we're comparing him to tremont williams who is 95 overall this is a seasoned veteran item now, Tremont Williams going for 100,000 coins. He's 95 overall, and Jimmy Smith is only going for 12,000 coins, and he's 88 overall. So there are definitely areas, of course, where Tremont, uh, Tremont Williams excuse me, is way better than Jimmy Smith. He's got 95 speed and 95 acceleration, which is way better. Uh, Jimmy Smith is a little bit slow. I will say that with the 91 speed and 90 acceleration, that is a little bit of a problem. Um, and then he's also lower in both man coverage and zone coverage by a few attribute points for each of those. Other things, of course, Jimmy Smith is substantially lower in both awareness and play recognition, and his catching is a little bit lower as well. Uh, his catch and traffic is quite a bit lower, so he's not a guy that gets as many interceptions. But the thing that I like about Jimmy Smith is that he has one of the most important and underrated attributes in this year's game for, for coverage corners, and that's press. He has a 98 for press. That is ridiculously high. I mean, that's like boss legend type numbers for press. So... For If you're somebody that does a lot of man coverage and let's say you're sending a nano blitz or something like that, or even if you're just sending, you know, a, doing a two man under press coverage, this is a kind of card that could definitely help you out because he can go up against some of those weaker wide receivers, the guys who don't have great strength and uh, can't get off of, you know, the press coverage. And he's going to be able to help abuse those guys with his, he's got really good strength for a cornerback. And he's also, like I said, got the 98 press. And he's also pretty good in run support as well with 73's hackling and 76 for a hit power. So, again, 
Jimmy Smith, I mean, the attributes, some of the things, like I said, he's not as great in, but overall, I do think that he's a pretty solid card, and uh, he's definitely somebody that you could mix in from time to time and uh, get some good results with, especially if you've got him as like a fourth or fifth corner, even on a good team. He's He can go up and get that press coverage against some of those guys that would go across the middle and cause you problems. So it's a really nice card for 12,000 coins, and I would definitely recommend it. So now, guys, let's move on and talk about zone coverage cornerbacks. So on the left side of your screen, we've got Logan Ryan, final edition, 25,000 coins. We're going to be comparing him to the team of the year, Akeem Tlaib, which is going for about 60,000 coins. Akeem Tlaib at 93 overall, Logan Ryan only a 91 overall. And again, first thing that I want to say is that I, I'm not trying to say that the card on the left is necessarily better than the one on the right, but... Akeem Tlaib does have some areas where he's not as good. Uh, the speed is a little bit of an issue for him being, you know, what people would perceive to be, I guess, a, a, an elite cornerback. He has only 92 speed with 93 acceleration. Now, Logan Ryan is only one speed higher, but he is three higher for acceleration. So he is actually going to be quite a bit higher on the field, or quite a bit faster on the field. Where he doesn't have such great attributes is that he's kind of a, not that great in man coverage. He's only an 89 in man coverage. He does have good zone coverage at a 94 which is a couple attributes lower than Tlaib uh, but his press is also very very good at a 94 of course Tlaib is higher at a 97 but some of the things that Logan Ryan really helps can help you in he is better in tackling he is better in in block shedding so he is definitely going to be a better player against the run and like I said his speed attributes are a little bit helpful as well this is a super cheap card right now if you really look at the attributes 25,000 coins and you get a guy that's got 89 for man coverage again that's not great by any means but it's not terrible either um, and, and he's got 94 zone so if you run a lot of zone coverage I really think that this card is definitely one you should think about investing in. He's got great press as well, um, so he can definitely do a good job, I think, in most cornerback situations if you put him in zone coverage. And even if you put him in man from time to time, he's not going to be an absolute liability in that area as well because he does have the good speed and acceleration combo. So the next camp comparison that we want to make here is another zone coverage duo. This one's a little bit cheaper. We've got Josh Norman here on the left, 85 overall. This is a team of the week from early in the year, but it's got some really nice attributes. And we're going to compare him to Quinton Rollins, which is going for 65,000 coins. This is a 48-hour only card. It's a limited edition, so um, you know that means that it was a little bit more expensive. But 92 overall for him. Now... Josh Norman, of course, had one of the best years of any cornerback this year, and I think that that's something that we're going to see in a lot of these attributes, right? You're going to see things like the fact that he has a, a great zone coverage attribute, 96 for zone with 94 press. That's actually higher. Uh, the, the zone coverage is actually higher than Quentin Rollins, who only has a 94. Now, he is a liability in man coverage. 90 or 85 for a man coverage is not good for a starting cornerback. So this is a guy that you would want to kind of transition in and out of the field Field, depending on the type of defense that you're running on the individual play you wouldn't want him to necessarily be your number one corner and go up head to head with the opposing guy and, and stick him in man coverage every play because his attributes just aren't built to do that but if you put him in his zone and you allow him to make plays he does have good play recognition and he does have like I said good zone coverage and along with the good press coverage as well uh, he can definitely do a good job in specifically zone coverage by the way this Quentin Rollins card is really good for 65,000 coins so if you can spend the money and get him I definitely think that that's another really nice card but I wanted to find something that we could kind of directly compare to show a guy that's not as good in man coverage and somebody that's got a little bit better zone coverage similar attributes and player recognition and press coverage as well um so these guys are really really similar to one another it's just that Quentin Rollins is a little bit better of an overall card so the last thing that I wanted to do here, guys, is uh, take a look at one other position. Actually, we have two more. I take that back. We have one more that's a specific role-playing position. But now that we've taken a look at guys who are good at man coverage and zone coverage individually, what I wanted to do is also show you a guy that you can take a look at who is pretty good in just about everything. And so this is what I'm calling a balanced coverage cornerback. He's good in both man coverage and zone coverage. And the card that we're looking at is Desmond Trufant. This is a superlatives card. He was Mr. Invisible, as they're calling him. He was 89 overall. So it's a pretty cheap card, but the attributes are definitely pretty nice on it. It's only going for 20,000 coins. We're going to be comparing him to the 99 overall Richard Sherman. Now, Obviously, Richard Sherman going for 215,000 coins is a better card. I'm not trying to say that he's not. He's 10 times as expensive, though. And I think that there are some areas where Desmond Trufant 
is really, really good. And, and it might be a better value depending on how many coins that you have to spend on the position. So first thing that we're going to look at, obviously, speed and acceleration, 92 speed, 93 acceleration. Basically flip flop those for Richard Sherman with 93 nine, and 92. So they're basically identical there. Really similar in awareness, uh, really similar in a lot of other areas. But the main difference here is that you look at the man coverage and zone coverage. In this case, obviously, Sherman is more of a zone coverage cornerback. He can do man coverage, too. He's got 99 zone, though, along with 94 man coverage. Now, Desmond Trufant is better built for man coverage. He does have a 95, but he's super balanced. He also has a 93 for zone, so he can do both of those things. Now, where he is a little bit of a liability, again, and, and unfortunately, there's always going to be things like this with any card that's cheap like this. There's going to be areas where he's just not as well built um, and, and I think in this case the main things that we have a problem with is his lack of press he only has a 78 for press it's not great by any means Richard Sherman has a 96 for press by comparison but he's also Desmond Trufant just not good really in run support uh, 63 for tackling 54 for, for block shed and 42 for hit power so he's definitely not going to be breaking up many passes with his hit power so that's a little bit unfortunate Sherman is good in all those attributes he's not amazing in anything but um, definitely a great overall card, of course, as you would expect for 215,000 freaking coins. So uh, again, guys, Desmond Trufant, I think, is just a guy who's a really balanced coverage cornerback. So I like that about him, and I, I like the fact that he's got good play rack and everything like that. So uh, definitely go ahead and look at him as being one of your guys who you could start in most situations, and he's going to do a pretty good job for you. Now, the last thing that I wanted to take a look at here is what I'm calling run support cornerbacks. Now, I really would not recommend having this guy on the field in anything other than what you believe to be a very obvious running situation. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to commit on the run, but you know, some a situation where you're pretty darn confident that the opposing guy is going to be running the ball. That's when you want to get Darkeese Denard on the field. Now, this is a, a campus hero card. It's only going for 6,000 coins. It's a gold card, 80, 84 overall. And we're going to be comparing him to Rod Woodson, the 96 overall legend, which is going still for about 200,000 coins. Now, of course, there are areas where Darkeese Denard is not good. I mean, he's really, really not good in zone coverage. 76 for a zone coverage is awful. I mean, that's really, really bad. But he does have good speed and acceleration at a 94 and a 92. But where he really makes up for all of that is, like I said, in specific running situations, you take a look at his block shedding, his strength, his tackling, and his hit power, and he is great in all of those areas. Block shedding, he's only two lower than Rod Woodson, who's really known for being a big hitter and a guy that could make plays in the running game. And he's actually only two higher, like I said, in, uh, in block shedding, and he's also only two higher in strength. But Rod Woodson is way lower in tackling and hit power. Darkeese Denard has 84 hit power. That is crazy, crazy high for a cornerback, especially an 84 overall cornerback. This is a guy who can come up and force fumbles as a cornerback. And if he doesn't force a fumble, at least he's going to almost always get the tackle. So definitely a big fan of this card again for running specific situations hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video that is going to wrap things up uh, if you did learn something from it make sure that you drop a like on the video it does help me out a lot and it, it kind of helps me you know stay encouraged to make more of these i know you guys love watching the the budget cornerback cards or whatever position that we make i try to make as many of these as i can but they do take me quite a bit longer than other videos to actually go in and find it do the research make the graphics and everything like that so uh let me know also in the comment section below guys first of all number one have you tried any of these cards and if you have are they good or are there areas where i kind of missed the mark number two are there other cornerbacks that you particularly like that you think i should include here or that maybe i missed let me know in the comment section below about that and number three what position do you want to see next we've already done things like uh you know wide receivers we've done some defensive linemen things like that cornerbacks obviously here so let me know in the comment section below what position do you want to see next thank you guys so much for all the support hope you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys again soon